What's up, man? It's your boy on LinkedIn here. So, some of you heard the Flint water crisis that's going on right now. It's just really absurd to me. It's ridiculous. So, our governor, Governor Rick Snyder, governor of Michigan, pretty much didn't do anything about it. And I believe he should be resigned. Shout out to Bernie Sanders that's doing everything in his power to do that. Now, what's going on back in 2014, okay? The state, he declared the state, you know, decided to save money. We wanted to, uh, instead of using the Flint, instead of using just the general water source that we get, you know, Michigan and Detroit River, he decided to, uh, for residents, to get their water from the Flint water source, okay, with water source supply. Knowing that is very poisonous, okay, now, it has lead, and lead is a neurotoxin, right, that kills brain cells and pretty much, um, kill brain cells for the kids under, children under 16, let's just say it like that, okay, and for that, it enables them to, disables them, from even learning, comprehending, it hurts them all in their lives. You know, it's it's embedded in their DNA. So humans are not compatible to lead. We cannot digest lead. Lead is just used to make metal and gold, and silver, different things like that. So what's really going on, man? You know, Governor Snyder, he said he didn't know about this until October of this year, which is some BS to me. And I'm like, you know, I didn't vote for man, but this is this, this is real sad because my heart goes out, you know, to the kids out here. They have to suffer from this, from these crooked politicians that don't care about them. They just care about the, about the money. And it really want to make you unplug from the system and just feel, I don't know, man, don't even want to support these, these motherfuckers, man. It, it's real sad, you know. So Bernie Sanders, you know, the Democratic candidate, he's running. Like I said, he's doing, I have so much um, respect for him. Even I have a lot of respect for him when we had the Killer Mike interview, but now he's actually calling for the state of emergency. President Obama is actually doing something, so I commend him for doing that. He actually called a state of emergency to deliver clean water for the residents of Flint, you know, because they deserve it, man. These kids are the future. We are the youth. And when you kill the youth, Governor Snyder, man, you, that's, that's really evil, man. You know, that's very evil. So, it's real sad right now, which is really going on. I know they're talking to the mayor. I think her name is Karen. So I don't know if she, I don't think she had anything to do with this though. But at the same time, the governor, you, you have, you control of the state. You, you should know what's going on to the water source. If you knew that, you know, most of our water, we didn't think Detroit River, which, you know, which is really nice and for the most part and everything. And we got one of the best waters in the nation, man. We got five lakes, okay? You know that if you just want to save money at the same time you hurt these kids' future. You know. So it is it's real it's real sad right now, man. You know, I believe really believe he should resign. Bernie Sanders want him to resign. I do as well, because these kids don't need to suffer like this. You know, so my heart goes out to them, you know, um continue to keep them in prayers. I wish I could do everything I can too. I mean I really wanna just you know, drive down there and really help these kids out, man. You just give them fresh water, man. And, and that's the basic necessity on earth, man. That's the, that's for human, humanity. We need fresh, clean water. And you going to destroy the water? And you going to act like, and I saw, you know, on the news, you act like you ain't going to do nothing about it. I have no respect for you, Governor Snyder, man. I really think you should, you know, your time is up, you know, and God going to deal with that, you know. I mean, he loves us, and we probably forgive you, but at the same time, you're hurting these parents, you're hurting education, you're not doing anything about it, it's just the education system in Detroit is terrible, they got, they still have old textbooks, you know what I'm saying, mushrooms growing in the walls, it's, it's just really unsanitary, man, for, for our living conditions, and next thing you know, we have a, we don't have a smart constituency in the environment that creates poverty, the poverty creates, uh, is created from lack of opportunities and lack of education. And you just kind of destroy that in the city of Flint and also in Detroit. It's like you don't really care at the end of the day, man. You know, this is real crooked. Well, I'm not going to draw this all too long, but that's what's really going on, the Flint water crisis. I would like to have your prayers up. I wish I could do a campaign or do something uh, to donate, but this is, it's, it's real ridiculous, man. I just feel like I had to um, voice my opinion about this, you know. So we can call these crooked politicians out. But Bernie Sanders, man, you still always get my vote. I'm going to still continue to vote for him. And this is the type of politics you want in in America, man, to, to change to change things. But Governor Rick Snyder, man, you gotta pay for this, man. You reap what you sow, man. It's your boy on link. I'm out. Deuces.